What's going on everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you are like me, you have probably gone through half a dozen or more different rifle bags or range bags or pistol bags, because it's really tough to find a good one that's not like two to $300. So today we're gonna to talk about one that's that nice happy medium between cost, quality, and just effective storage for what you're gonna need out there. And that bag is gonna be the Urban Warfare One from Savior Equipment. Now, if you haven't seen the one I did on their SEMA range bag, check that thing out because it's awesome. It's huge. You can fit literally everything you need in there and probably a bag lunch and a little person as well. So before we get into that, a shout to the sponsor of today's video, which is Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Today's video is brought to you by Hidden Hybrid Holsters, bringing you that sweet, sweet leather for your holster needs, or just a little something to keep your pants up in the way of a belt. Now, whether it's for a dress occasion or whether you just prefer leather against that sweet, sweet, supple skin of yours, if you're in the market for a hybrid holster today, check them out at hiddenhybridholsters.com or in the link in the description. I appreciate you guys sitting through that. Hidden Hybrid has sponsored a few videos here on the channel, which helps me grow, helps me get ammo, because none of this stuff here is free. So this Urban Warfare rifle bag, there are many different rifle bags out there in the market. Some of them are very good and very expensive. Some of them are very cheap and not very good at all. For me, I try to save money where I can. Now, if you're one of those super cool guys that's dragging a 40 pound kit bag up a mountain with you, you get to a sniper's hide, this may not be the bag for you. If you're like me and 95% of the world out there that's not gonna be dragging this thing behind a truck for any amount of time, this may very well be a solid option for you. I will leave links for all this stuff down below for you. But I wanna walk you through this bag, the storage compartments, the straps, how I use it, what you can fit in it, because it's pretty good for what you're paying for it. Right now on Amazon, this bag is coming in at under 100 bucks. I think it was like 96 the last time I checked. That's a pretty solid deal. Is there a kick in the pants to that? Yeah, this is made offshore. It's not made in the USA, which you probably gathered from the price on it. Let's go ahead and jump into this. We'll check out all these pockets and straps and all that stuff. And then I'll kind of give you my overall opinion of this bag and would I buy more of them, when I'm gonna use them in the future, because it's pretty solid, like I said. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. All right, we're gonna go through this bag. We're just gonna go from front to back and then we'll get into the main compartment after we check out the exterior pockets. So you'll see on the outside, we have two of these kind of medium sized pockets here, and then we have our larger pocket here in the front. So these ones, you can see this one's empty. It is both Velcro here. So if you leave it on strap, it's not just gonna flop open if the Velcro is there and you have that quick Fastex buckle as well. So on the larger front pocket right here, you can see we obviously have a ton of space here for Molly, whatever the heck you wanna put on here, you pretty much can't. You've got two very nice kind of flat pockets that are a little bit more than hand deep. You can see I've got pretty good sized hands. So you can put different flat items in there, maybe a range card, you know, granola bars, whatever the heck you need out there, or just an extra magazine because a magazine will fit in there as well, just to give you an idea. Standard magazine, throw it right in there, zip it up. So you can see kind of the space you have there to work with. Now getting into the main pocket here, you move up, you can see we have plenty of space for all your swag and drive on patches. Getting into this, you'll see we've got a very nice two sections of that netted material, very good zippers. All of the zippers here are good quality. They're not YKK, but I think they're called like number 20. I think that's the size. They're thick, they're good, they're all lockable. Now have that pull 550 on them. This pocket in itself, is a little over, I wanna say it's just about two inches deep. You've got the two netted pockets here in the front for quick access. And then you have two like pistol pockets with these like nice little D-rings that you can clip things onto. To give you guys an idea of size here, this is a Springfield XDM Elite OSP threaded barrel, TLR1, optic and everything. And it's gonna slide right in there, close up. You can fit two good sized pistols in there. With, uh, with ease in that pouch, one on each side. Go ahead and zip this up, we will move on. To give you guys an idea of this pouch over here, which is the same size, you can easily fit six AR mags in here, even if they have extensions on them, um, like say the Lancer plus fours or plus sixes or whatever. It will fit in there and it's not overly baggy, it's nice and form fit. Um, some pouches sometimes have like that flex material and it just, it always dies in the Arizona summer. So moving up, 
we have our buckles for our over straps that are right here in case you want to strap this in or maybe you've got your tripod through here or something like that you can pretty much fit it in there you have your ring right here on this side and then the other one right here on the back for the shoulder strap that comes with it which we'll show in a second so going around to the back side here flip this around You'll see that we have our backpack style straps here. I don't really use them, never really have, but I leave them on there just in case. Then we've got a pull handle here at the bottom and at the top so you can grab it from either end no matter where it was laid or how it was laid. And then obviously up on top we have our standard briefcase style Velcro strap. So back here on each side we have a zipper here and here. Again, same high quality zippers. And this is a flat kind of push through and that's where I actually have the shoulder strap. And I just leave that in there, but plenty of room to stick maps or papers or targets or anything back in here. It's a very good sized pocket on the back. Now working our way into the main pocket here, again, we have two zippers. The entire top part here, okay, is going to be lined and padded. So all of this material in here is that 600 denier um, polyester stuff. So it's a solid material. Is it 1000 Cordura? No, but this stuff will last. So this padding will keep all of your optics safe in case this thing should take a fall. And you have a divider in here, which is padded as well. And this is removable. So there is a Velcro portion in here that keeps this in right there. So you can take that whole center section out. And as you see, you have a strap here to put your rifle through and then edges here that will fit and lock it down in there. So say you have a full size rifle like this Saint here. You can slide this bad boy through the first one, put it in there, get your Velcro strap and then lock this side in. And then if you have another rifle, you can put it on this one right here. You can see that one is the exact same as the side that has the rifle in it. The only thing I would suggest is depending on how much stuff you have on your forend, you have to alternate sides. So one would be facing this way, one would be facing the opposite way. And again, with the padding in between, you're not gonna be banging things up. So I have been able to fit two completely rigged up rifles in here with lights and optics and everything without issue. It's a little tight, but not a problem to get two rifles with a lot of stuff on the fore end to include maybe an angled foregrip, obviously your flip up sights, an optic, a light on the side like a Surefire or a Streamlight. And it's going to be good to go. So overall, this bag is an exceptional value for what you're getting at under a hundred bucks. Let's go ahead and we'll finish this up. As you can see, that is a very nicely set up bag. Well thought out storage compartments. You can fit a ton of mags in there, a ton of gear in there. Pistol pockets, storage in the back, storage in the front, two rifles. Um, there's just a lot of good stuff there in the bag. You got all that molly in the front. You got all that, uh, you know, hook and loop Velcro if you want to throw all your swag patches on there like I did. Um, there's just a lot to be had for that bag. And like I said, coming in at under 100 bucks shipped on Amazon, that's a pretty solid deal. Now, I've tried a ton of different bags over the years. Um, when I was really young, Uncle Mike's bags, I've had... Uh, Voodoo Tactical bags. I've had uh, I've had a Vertex bag before. I've had 511 bags before. I've had several other bags before, and they all seem to range in price and quality levels. And I was never able to really find that one that was like that really happy medium between what I needed, the money I wanted to spend, but something that was going to last me for years. I really do think this is one because the stitching is holding up well. The pockets are great. They have exactly the amount of storage space I need in them. And then you've got all that adaptable space with that Molly panel in front. Now they do have other versions that just have more pockets on them. They've got a ton of different colors from tan to black to Granger green, multi-cam, multi-cam black. And of course my favorite obviously is that urban gray because that's just a sweet color in my opinion. If they made one in orange, I'd probably buy it in orange. Or if they made a 50-50 orange and gray, I'd probably buy that one. So it's good stuff. I really hope you guys like learning about this bag. Check out some of the other reviews on their stuff. I will leave the link down below for you for this bag and for the SEMA range bag review that I did. If you haven't checked out that SEMA bag, that thing is a monster. 
uh, but it's absolutely awesome. I appreciate you guys stopping back by. You guys get out there on the range, have some fun. Check these out if you're in the market for a new range bag. You guys stay safe, stay ready, most all stay dangerous, and I will see you guys on the next one.